Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at one of the more entertaining, albeit uh, maybe not the most commercially useful package in R, and that's GG Cats. So GG Cats is a package that is going to let us add cats to our graphs. And so we're going to have some fun with this one and mess around with a few examples. As always, if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and like the video. Okay, so if you don't already have the package remotes installed, you'll need to install packages. You can do that from code or we can come across to packages, click on install and install remotes. The reason we need this is because the GG Cats is not uh, part of CRAN, funnily enough. Uh, seeing as it's perhaps not the most serious of packages. Uh, so we are actually installing off uh, someone's GitHub here. We can get our GG Cats and Tidyverse going. And then with this code, and I think if you just Google up the uh, help for GG Cats, you will see a lot of code or very similar code to this. Uh, I might try and link it up in underneath the video, although I am still working on getting my website set up. Uh, once that's set up, things like this will certainly end up there. Uh, so let's have a look at our cats. So we've got a scatter plot here just showing us our cats. We'll jump across to the viewer and look at all of those beautiful meme cats that we are going to be able to add to our GG plots. So those are our cats. If we wanted to do a scatter plot, uh, we can get our classic iris data and we can select. Uh, so we're going to have different, uh, different cats for the three different types. And let's set that up. And there we go. We'll zoom in. We can see that our scatter plot is now occupied by our three different uh, types of irises there with our three different types of cats. And so lastly, we are going to do an animated graph. So we need a couple more libraries here. Again, if you don't have these, uh, then you will need to install them. Just doing a little bit of setting up the data and then we can run our plot and you can see that it takes it takes a, a little while to render up uh, but once it has rendered up then we should see it coming in just a second here it comes and so here is our animated line graph uh, with our two little cats uh, jumping away. So that is also pretty sweet. So I probably wouldn't recommend using this in the workplace, uh, but certainly for teaching or just having a bit of a fun, uh, it's a great little package to have a play with. 